Shalom, good morning, Sister Kate here. <coughs> Wanted to say Jai Hind for today is a very historic day. There is a Indian pilot who was captured in Pakistan in the recent um, goings on between the two countries. He was shot down and his plane went down in Pakistan and he was captured by um, three natives and held and today at nine o'clock, I guess India time, he's scheduled to be released. And so there's been uh, rioting, not rioting, what do you call it? Like celebratory gatherings before the event on Indian TV. And people have been there since the morning, you know, shouting, shouting slogans, Jai Hind, Jai Hind is also like, go India. Um, and so they're very, very excited at the return of their pilot. And this is a historic event because both of those powers are nuclear powers. And their um, disagreements, their cross-border actions where some people were killed and then jets flew and so on, uh, that could have turned ugly. It could have been a very, very huge event if that had continued to escalate. So we actually should be doing a you know, worldwide... Whew, because it didn't, and now they're ironing out the details um, afterwards of how to then calm everything back down and come to peace. So why would it interest Americans, um, the international uh, part of it would interest us because nukes flying would not be good for anybody in the world. Um, and our president was over in Vietnam, so he was closer to them than us at this time. But why it may resonate personally with Americans also is because we've been in the same situation as India has. We have had our pilots down in other countries and nervously been awaiting their return. We've had, I'm pretty sure, a, sp a spy plane uh, shot down over in the Russian Federation and our pilot was held there and then they eventually returned him and we've had pilots shot down in places like Vietnam and Cambodia and Laos. Um, and waited for their return. And sometimes these guys didn't come back. Um, so it's a very dramatic thing for the military uh, community when one of theirs is in the hands of the enemy. Because depending on that enemy, they can also be really badly treated. They can come back maimed. They can come back starved. They can come back tortured or beaten. Um, they can come back mentally unsound. Um, we waterboard prisoners, but other countries don't just waterboard. Other countries do horrific, violent, physical acts on their enemies. And so our men have returned in that shape as well. And so we, I, we can understand where India is at this moment with... A wing commander, uh, his name is Abhinandan Varthaman. Um, he's a lieutenant colonel in their military. And of course, you, for the majority of your population, your military has a, a, a uh, sort of um, a very respectful view of men who are willing to put their life on the line for their country. And so India, you know, vast majority of Indians are looking at their pilot um, in that kind of, you know, he was fighting for our country way and they're very excited about it. So today is a historic day and it's worth noting. And if you want to join in the jubilation of the Indian people, Jai Hind is the call. And I don't think he's released yet. All right. Bless you. Shalom.